Hey everybody, Captain Murphy here. Doing an update on uh, some research I'm doing into the Boolean damage inside CryEngine. And what I've created is a new entity for ships. This is kind of a plan that we've been trying to shoehorn the vehicle entity class into our usage. And because of all the buoyancy changes we're having to make, we're gonna go ahead and just create another entity class that we can use our own buoyancy calculations on. Since we're not going to be using the vehicle's actual propulsion and all that, we're going to go ahead and just skip this. Anyway, so while I was doing this, I started to look into Boolean damage. The model you're looking at here has physicalized proxy helper turned on, so you can see what the object looks like according to uh, physicalized damage. So this is what it looks like normally uh, with the regular, just, you know, your models and all that. It's actually composed of several components. There's a hull one, a hull two, and a hull three object that are all tied together. And this is going to allow us to have modelers that can just uh, assign their objects and, you know, set their offsets, things like that. So right now everything is, um, there's actually three models that are all tied together that are being used for this. So anyway, with this uh, um, design here, uh, I've run into a couple of kind of interesting issues. And so if you're looking at the physicalized proxy, I'm going to go ahead and turn on, uh, I have the uh, St. Albans over there still lobbing cannonballs at random here. Um, you can see that it is actually hitting, uh, it's causing damage. Uh, right now I've got it set for invulnerable, so it's not going to get sunk. <clears throat> but as it does actually cause damage, it will make the CGA, because this is a model made up of a single CGA model down here, and then these two other objects on top are made out of CGFs. The physicalized proxy that is created, and you see it happen just a second ago, the hull actually broke loose. And I'll turn off the physical proxies and you can see the hull is gone. So whenever the model gets struck and it actually causes damage, the parts of the model start to break apart. And we saw this happen before with the, um, the first attempts we had made at damage with the sail objects. Whenever the sails were broken loose from the vessel, they, uh, or the vessel was damaged, the sails came loose, the vessel sank out from under, and the sails just kind of hovered there in the air. And so we've seen this happen a few times now where uh, things have gone wrong. But I do want to look at, if you look at the proxy itself, the materials are actually being damaged. So this is what it looks like when a cannonball hits the object and um, does real uh, demonstrable damage. So as soon as we can figure out how to make this damage appear on the actual proxy, or should say the material that's on the proxy, I think we'll have a lot better looking damage models because this is all being done procedurally. We're not we're not having to do this in any kind of code or anything like that. The, the system automatically handles this. Uh, and then, you know, as you can tell, it's using you know pretty decent looking damage models. And as long as we can get the materials to tie to it, I think we should have uh, you know, pretty good looking damage on these boats uh, happening dynamically. So anyways, that's just kind of a quick update to show you guys what kind of uh, random problems we're running into and why I haven't been heard from for a couple of days. So anyway, uh, we'll try to keep you updated. Thanks, guys.